Hello, my name is Gail Morton. I'm going to show you how to use Research Library ProQuest for public health. First, I'm going to go to our main library page at libraries.mercer.edu. I'm going to scroll down. We see Research Guides and Tutorials. These are my subjects. Since public health is in health professions, that's where I'm going to go. Public health. Okay. This is research library. Proclus. We're just going to do a very basic search. Results. Okay. I've got 514 results. Okay, there we are. I'm going to bring your attention over here to the left. I'm going to show you this button, peer reviewed. This means that, um, say, an expert in the field, someone with their PhD, wrote an article or did some research, and they sent it off to be published to a journal. When it gets there, they have other reviewers who also have the same expertise with their PhDs to read the article and then decide if it's going to get published or not or if it needs to get edited. So a lot of your papers will require peer review journals and that's how you can find those kinds of results. There is this full text option. Um, what this is, is not every article in here is full text. Some of it is just an abstract. But you can get the full text through interlibrary loan. So I'm just going to click on full text. Okay. And you can see my result number is going down. Now we're down to 190, so I'm limiting here. And here's my source type. Scholarly journals. See they have a little hat here. Okay. These are trade journals. I can look at this publication date. Since this is sciences, you're going to want to the latest seven years or so. Okay, now we're at 28 results. I can keep going. I can look at publication type, title, document type. So you have a review article, and that's going to be, you know, like a secondary. There's a lot of research articles going to be your primary. Language, database, company organization. You can see there's articles in here too. Okay. You'll see open access and what that means is once an article is published it's just freely available. These look like a lot of open access articles. I'm just going to open one up. Show you how to open up a PDF. Here it is. This is how you download your PDF. Let me come up here a little bit. You can download this PDF here. This is your citation tool. And it it opens up automatically to APA, especially in, in research library. So if you look at this citation, the information is correct, but the format is not. You can copy and paste this into your paper, but you need to edit it. This should not all be in caps. If you need help with your citations, you can email them to me. I'll look over them and tell you what you might need to change. Or you can chat, or you can do a, we can do a Zoom consultation. I'm gonna click this drop down arrow. And you can see all the other types of citations that you can choose if APA is not what your instructor wants. That's how you use Research Library at ProQuest.